Hello everybody and welcome to another video on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make a hide and seek game in Scratch. Okay, so for that obviously you need a Scratch editor. So open up a Scratch editor. This is a Scratch mm -hmm. online editor. Now, here you can see when you open up a Scratch editor, you will be able to see a cat in the screen. Is the cat is standing in the middle of the screen. Okay. So now we have to obviously program it. First of all, we can rename this uh, sprite to cat. Okay. Now, uh, I don't like this white boring background. We can just change this boring background to a colorful and attractive one. Okay. So let's go to the backdrop, go to the stage and click on the backdrop. Then click on the choose backdrop from library. After that here you can choose any of the backdrops. I like uh, um, let's have uh, Night City with Street. Okay, click on oh wait. Yeah, it's good. Press OK. So here you can see the backdrop changes. Now here is the cat. Um we don't need a animate this cat so we have to program this cat to show from time to time and also hide from time to time and um, it shouldn't show while um, uh, and we want it to hide from time to time and also show okay so how will we do that so how will we do that well there is a way uh, we, have, we have to obviously program it for that, you are going to get a diagram and when the green flag is clicked to block and after that you are going to go to the loops, then click on show. Okay. After that, you are going to get go to the controls and click on the forever block, forever, then here um, Forever, wait, wait, not forever. Before that, you have to set its position where it should show, whether it should show here or here or here or here. Okay, so obviously, before programming it, we don't want it to get hidden between below anything. So we have to go to the looks, scroll down, and click on the go to front and grab it and keep it here. So it will always be in the front. Okay, after that we need to set its position. So we are going to grab and um, go to block here, go to block, grab it, keep it here. And we don't want to uh, always want it in the same position. We are going to change it and for that we are going to give the computer the freedom to um, decide where he wants to keep it. For that, we are going to grab, uh, go to operators, then grab and pick random block. After that, keep it after the X. You can see it gets set here. Now, here in the pick random, if you just play it, it will only range from the X1 to X10. Here, it's a very short distance, it will look almost the same. So, we can keep the X from the, for the entire screen. The entire screen is from minus 240 to plus 240. For that, we can click on the one, it gets highlighted, and we can keep uh, type negative 240. And here in the two, we are going to type 240, positive 240. Okay, so when we do this, he will show wherever he wants. You can you can see I click the green flag and he shows from in the entire screen. There is no limitation he has to follow. Okay, this is exactly what we want. Also for the Y position, we want it to be here uh, from the top to the bottom. It means actually we are giving the computer the entire freedom to keep this cat wherever he wants. Okay, so... Um, from the top to the bottom. So for that, we are going to get grab another pick random block. And here you can see that at the top, the y is 180, and similarly at the bottom, it is minus 180. For that, you are going to click the one and type negative 180. 
10 here in the 2 after 2 elements. We are selecting the 10 and type positive 180. When you do it, he will, the computer will keep it very, very what he wants, okay? There's no limitation the computer has to follow. The cat uh, can be anywhere. There's no limitation, okay? Now, we also wanted, after showing, we wanted to hide. So, what will we do now? Well, we are going to, for this, we are going to go to the controls. And we are going to keep taking forever block. And here we are going to take and wait one second block. Um, after the wait one second, because uh, we are going to keep the wait one second at the, uh, at the top, because it has already shown here. And if we tell it to hide immediately, then we will not be able to see this cat, because it will hide immediately after showing. So for this, we are going to get a uh, rent one second block. Now we need to hide him again. Means it, it can only be a hide and seek game if he if the cat hides. So for to make him hide, we are going to grab a, go to the loops. Then grab a hide block and keep it here. So he will wait one second, then hide. Here, let's check it. You wait one second and hide. You can see, but after hiding, you will not show again because we have not programmed him to show again. Well, to make him show again, we are going to uh, we want another show block. Okay, so we are going to grab a show block. But if we do this, then he will not hide. You will see that yeah, you can see even after one second, he is not hiding. Because we have given the hide block immediately after show block, so we are not able to see that yeah, the computer is immediately making him show after hiding him. So what will we do? Obviously, we are gonna get a uh, wait one second block and make him show. Now you can see he hides, again he shows, again hides, again shows, again hides, and again shows. But uh, but um, we, uh, we don't want this. We want him to continuously change his position around the screen. Well, for that, we are going to just duplicate this because we don't want to uh, do this again. We can just duplicate this go to block. We are going to separate the go to from the sub script. And otherwise, if you just click on it when it's um, attached here, we copy the forever block also. We don't want that. You are going to separate it from the rest of the script. Then right to click on the go to. After that, you are going to keep it here. When it's share. Uh, so after you have done it, it will forever change its position. As you can see, it forever changes its position. If you wait one second, again show anywhere. He may show anywhere. There's no limit because he can show in the uh, whole screen. We have given the computer the freedom to show him the entire screen. So that's the we have come to uh, the half of the programming is done. Not much is left. Um, so now we are gonna when we click this sprite, we he should do something because uh, there is no fun if you can only see him and not do anything. It's just like an animation, but this is a game. So we should be able to do something. Yeah. Well, for that, we are gonna you are gonna click the events, then grab and went to sprite click block. When you do this, it will do the program which is kept under uh, this hat block. When you click the sprite, okay. Yeah, this type of block is called the hat block. Okay, so when you grab this head block, uh, this block, after that, you are going to go to the um, data, but you can see nothing here because now we have to make a variable, okay? So for that variable, we can name it um, number of times clicked, okay? When you do this, yeah, we can just let it to be for this part only. And yeah, you can number of times click. This name looks awesome. Yeah, pretty awesome. 
Okay, so now we are gonna uh, when the sprite is clicked, well, when the green flag is clicked, first of all, the number of times clicked should be set to zero because uh, if we don't do this, then each time we um, we begin this game, then um, it will set the number of times clicked to the previous one only. Okay, so now we are gonna set it to now zero and when this point is clicked we want it to change number of times clicked by one so now when we do this if we click it you can see it's one we again click it it's two again click it it's three again click it it's four well now this game should end because if it goes on forever there's no fun nothing will happen but this game should end for ending this game we are gonna grab an uh, if block um, for if after the below the forever it is, it should be in the green flag click the uh, script only so you're gonna get that if block if so it will it's actually forever if um, then you are gonna go to operators then grab an equal to block equal to block then we are going to again go to data and then take a number of times click variable okay so it comes here and then we are going to set a value here you can set it to suppose uh, the number of times after which you want this game to end suppose it can be set to five so when you click this five times constantly then um, uh, it should um, end the game Okay, so if the number of times clicked is equal to 5, then it should broadcast something. But what can it broadcast? Well, it can broadcast to end the game. For that, we are going to, you can see here is a message one block. You are going to click the drop down, menu, um, drop down arrow and click on the new message. Now, you can type it, suppose, end, end game. Okay, when you do this and you are going to click OK. So when you do this, it will broadcast end game. But uh, broadcasting end game has no fun because um, nothing will happen if you do this. It's set to one, two, three, no, three, three, four, five, six. Well, it shouldn't go to six. Okay, so nothing happens when uh, broadcast end games comes. Okay, so now we are gonna we should uh, the when if the game receives end game when a sprite receives end game then it should do something. Well, we can make uh, a backdrop, not a sprite, a backdrop, and we can click it in a backdrop. One only we can edit this. If we have this backdrop one, then we should we can edit it here only. No, backdrop one. And then we can just fill this with black color, or you can fill it with any color you want. Then click on the text, select the font style. I'm going to select it to scratch. You can use anything you want. And um, I'm going to set the text color to light blue, sky blue. You can set it to anything you want. And I'm going to switch on the caps lock button so that every script uh, does, every script shows in caps lock only. You can do anything you want. So when you type, you, you can type U. Then you can see the resizing block comes. We can make it do very big we can make it very big we can take another text block then type another text to win. win then click here the resizing comes again then just enlarge it me I am gonna keep it like this so that it looks cool I am gonna make the win really big <coughs> Okay, so you can do anything you want here. Um, it's okay. It's up to your imagination. Okay, now for the backdrop one also, when the green flag is clicked, we don't want the zoom in to show. Rather, we want the night city with streets to show. 
for that, we are going to go to the scripts of the backdrops, then we are going to drag by and when the green flag is click block, then we are going to take the switch backdrop to Night City with scripts. Okay? And when I receive end game, means when the backdrop receives end game, it should switch the cast backdrop to uh, you should I should switch the backdrop to backdrop one. Well, we can rename this and rename it to U Win. Okay, this backdrop seems good. After you have done it, uh, instead of backdrop one, it should be U Win, and also it's good. So let's try this game. When you click it, it um, no, it's one, two. Three, four, and five. Yeah, you can see it's a U win, but uh, even after U win, why does this cat is coming? Well, we don't want this. We can just uh, make this cat to hide after you um, the number of times click changes to five. Well. For that, it's very simple. We are going to grab a hide block and keep it above or below the broadcast end game. That doesn't really matter. And after you have done it, you can the cat will not show again after um, you click the backdrop switches. Two, three. No, it is really getting dragged a lot. Five. Yeah. It's you win, so it's good. Yeah, really, it's good. Uh, many places you can see that when I do this, he gets dragged, but uh, it will not uh, happen when you see the project page because in the project page you cannot edit anything. Um, when you see, click on the see project page, <coughs> nothing will happen. Uh, he will not get dragged. You can see he doesn't get dragged. He doesn't get. Because in the project page we cannot edit, but as it is the editor, we may want to shift it. So it happens. Yeah, that's it. So the game really looks good. It's a cool game, but actually we don't want this variable to show. We can just uncheck this box and it will not show. We can click the C project page, just run it. Uh, I can click it one times, two times. Three times, four times, and five times. Now it should switch to you in. Okay, so bye bye. I like you. Hope this video. Please subscribe. My Put a like to my channel if you really think that it helped you very much. So yeah, and again it's a reminder, please subscribe my channel. And okay, also if you have any inquiry related with this project or any project, you can just, uh, not only this project only, then you can put it in the comments. So I'll try to solve it, okay? So subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video so that other people can see it. Bye-bye.